Good morning, musical scientists. It's about 4.30 in the morning, and I find myself in an airport. We uh, wrapped the shoot yesterday now at like 9 o'clock at night, and we tried to uh, get everything packed up right away, um, but I, because I had, I had to come out here, catch a flight to Toronto to be on the Discovery Channel, which is going to be real fun, um, except I missed the flight because I thought that it was at 11.30 and it was in fact at 10 o'clock. So came here, decided that I was going to sleep on a bench, and uh, that's what I tried to do, but I can't because my mind is worrying and it's like I'm processing the shoot, it's like I'm planning the shoot after it happens, which is weirdly appropriate. But like, everything that I think about, I think about it and then I imagine what it would be like in reverse, and I like, can't get my brain out of that mode. Um, so I figured, maybe while we're here, say hi to the people, um, we can just talk about how that went. So I've spent about a week um, mapping out the parts of this video and putting it in a huge spreadsheet so I could figure out where everything was supposed to go. And then I put the lyrics through a text reverser and tried to um, listen to it over and over again and sort of um, spell it out phonetically. Um, so I could write it on poster boards and actually um, read it off the lyrics, kind of what it was supposed to be. Yeah, legit. Structure decomposes till it's gone. Sure. And then I spent three or four days just listening to the song over and over and over, and I would take little chunks of it, like half a verse at a time, and just put it on loop and listen to that loop for about an hour at a time and just sing it. Mjat kaparsh nerov nozir as riftath shrews nazrith porp sid nakyawat Thou I can this rope thirs and zurs that thirs a raison varunchar behind Hello mother, how's it going? Hello mother, hello father, don't hmm. film me, I don't I am me. filming you. Do you have any primary words before we get started? Um, well, um, I'll buy your bananas for you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were very nice, they came down and picked me up. Uh, pick Tom up, hey, how are you? and we loaded the lights and the camera and the green screen and everything we needed and shipped off to Hudson. Hey Carl, I can use the camera to vlog. Look at me with my Lamborghini. Snowpush. <laughs> hello. Say hello to the camera. Where's the oh entropic is the word. Okay, and one word on that. Like written across these. So that when they come together, like not, the word's not on any one of them, it's like on all of them. But it's it's like gonna form out of these blocks that I can like push over crazily. What does entropy mean? It's uh, how disordered something is. That is in low entropy state. If I knock it over, it will be in high entropy state. Would you like to demonstrate? No. <laughs> we worked hard on this. Super productive night. We made a whole bunch of things. This is our night's work. It's been a long time. It's, what time is it? Like one in the morning? Something like that. One in the morning. Something like that. We have to be quiet because my mommy is sleeping. Something like one in the morning. Something like one in the morning. Lady yeah. Duck. Take all these Vyat Kaparshnavas and tidy them up. Yeah, totally. Let's do that. Whack. 
Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Tom. What are we doing today? Um, we're not sleeping enough. That's what we're doing. Speak for yourself. <laughs> sleep for yourself. Went to sleep and didn't sleep enough, and then we had to cram everything into this one day. The thing with trying to do everything in one take, especially with so much irreversible stuff, is that when you mess it up, you have to reverse the entropy you have created, which, as you physicists know, is a difficult thing to do. So, trying to dry out wet clothes and wet green screen and pick up marbles and dominoes and confetti and car playing cards, which got soaking wet, um, it was definitely quite a bit of a mess. Tom, bless his heart, um, was amazing trying to um, hand me everything. You can see his hands coming in and popping balloons and handing me things and we had to run each of those through five or six times to get all the cues right. I do have to mention I did get a lot of inspiration for this stuff from people who have done backwards videos in the past, um, especially Mute Math Typical, um, which is kind of the typical music video of this kind, um, especially with the silly string and stuff. Um, that one's really fun. And then I know Rhett and Link have done one that I probably cribbed some ideas from, although I didn't realize it. Um, Coldplay is the scientist. You know, this has been done before, but I don't think it's ever been done in a video specifically explaining why it's weird to do a backwards video. Um, so that's kind of a unique thing that you get to do. By being a science communicator, you get to break down these things that everybody thinks is just like, oh, that's really cool, but they don't know why it's cool. Um, but I do know why it's cool, and I think that you knowing why it's cool makes it even better for you. So, I don't know, hopefully I'm right. It's just such a visual representation, right? Like, you say, oh, disorder increases, and you think, well, whatever, like, yeah, my room gets messy. Um, but you see how weird it is to see something go backwards like that. And I think, or I hope at least, that it's really gonna hit home in terms of like, oh yeah, like the world isn't the same forwards and backwards, which is like obvious. Um, but when you look at the physics of it, it's not obvious. Like there's no reason why the world shouldn't be the same forwards and backwards according to the laws of physics. They're all completely reversible. I hope we pulled it off in the end. I haven't actually seen the footage backwards, so I really hope that it synced up well. All I have right now to go on is my own judgment of how it went in the moment, so we'll see. I hope it's good. I hope you like it. Oh, I'm so cold and so tired and I have to go on a plane in like an hour and Tom is feeling worse so I feel bad about, you know, complaining. But now we've got to clean all of this up. Yay. Oh. We suffer for our art. Now how do you feel? I'm done. We're done. I think like... We'll see how it is. There's parts where I'm like, mm, maybe that's not so good. There's parts where I'm like, that's gonna look amazing. And I'm hoping that as usual, the massive expanse of everything happening all at once will overwhelm the senses and people will forgive our mistakes. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I need a towel. I need to cry. <laughs> this is acapella science. Boo -doo -doo.